Hello again. This is another bug service, service challenges. Uh, we have um, two Azure servers prepared. One is in West Europe and the other one is in South India. What we are going to do is that we install the ProCloud server in South India and in West Europe. So if I want to connect to West Europe first, I go to connect open the remote desktop session accept the certificate and I'm now connected to a Western Europe server the only thing I prepared is the installation of Enterprise Architect first of all I have to install Sparks Pro Cloud Server again as I would do on my local machine I have done before I just accept the license once again and install the ProCloud server. And the good news it's running already after installation. The only thing I have to configure is that I want to have a local a database on this machine available. So I go to the configuration, Spark Systems, Cloud Services, Client. And I configured the local host in Western Europe in this case. And then add a new server. I will name it West Europe 01 F IP West Europe 01. I enable the access to this Firebird database. And I verify it with a local installation of Enterprise Architect, just to be sure that everything is configured right. Um, here I connect through the ProCloud server to West Europe 01, in this case local host 804, the model name West Europe 01. Okay, something is wrong because this is a server configuration and it does not allow to connect the local host. Maybe I have to write, type in the, the IP address. No, it's not allowed. What could happen? What, there's a firewall configuration. And this firewall configuration even prohibits to have a local um, connection to your IP. So I define a new rule, and this is related to a port. And I activate all ports already. It's not really necessary, but um, for future use. And I allow the connection from everywhere. What you see that the service is already registered, but uh, only that the service is allowed to be accessed, not that the ports can be accessed. Hmm. Good question. Go back to the client. Localhost. West Europe, zero. Oh, by accident, I configured that it's required a securing, secured connection. Okay, that's the problem. So, once again, connect to cloud. And now it's working fine. Here we have the model already. I create use case requirement just for sample. And I will type in something. 
the servers are not the high end servers, it's just the medium level ones. And I will type here something like in Western. Okay, because I have already defined the firewall, um, I don't have to explain it anymore. <laughs> so the next step is that I allow access to the network. So in the networking environment, you also have to define the firewall, the ports that you want to allow as inbound rules. That's an Asia specific thing. Um, I define for the beginning, it's more than enough to have my custom one for 804 and I name it sparks underscore 804. So if I want to connect to this repository from my local machine, then I go to my local instance and say open project, connect to cloud, zero one. Um, yes, the IP address is here. And the name is the same as I named it here. And I'm connecting from my local enterprise architect repository to an Asia repository in Western Europe. Okay, I have to verify if the port is already allowed. Yes, 804 is already allowed. I was just a little bit too fast, but now I'm in the connection to this repository. I can open it, I can navigate through it. I can rate create new requirements on it. So in Western Europe, it is, yes, feels like a local system more or less. So that's, that's an interesting Thing. So now I have the connection to a Western European server. So I verify if I refresh this model here, if everything what I created in Vienna is also available here. Yes, I have my additional requirements. I've not saved um, the, the diagram. I can save it and then I verify again here by reloading just the, the, the just this diagram that's aligned a little bit different. I can make it aligned, align it. Make it size same. And then they make something like that, that it looks a little bit better. Save it, go back to Vienna. It has been under used re the typical behavior. And now we have this aligned scenario. Okay, this is my Western European server. Now I go to my South Indian server. So back to my South Indian server and my dashboard. This is server two, I believe. Yes, that's located in South India. I connect to this server. So hopefully I will not fail again, but uh, I connect to the server, accept the certificate. So guys, I'm now in India. Here's also prepared enterprise architect. I have to install the ProCloud server in India.
So the firewall rules are set here. I have seen this in a short presentation, uh, but only for the, the, the services allowed, not for all the ports. So um, I start Enterprise Architect here, and I start the configuration for the Indian server. So scenarios, client, ProCloud Server India. Once again, related to India, it's the local host on port 803. Then we add a new database. It's South India 01 and South India 01. Then I go here, configure, and you see in the server configurations by default required the secure authenticated connection. I disable this in this case just for my installation sample. And now I have a scenario where South India Zero One is an activated database manager. Now I go back to my Indian installation one. Uh, local host and now I'm connecting to the South Indian one again I have an issue with the firewall So I accept the inbound rules that we need for Sparks Pro Cloud Server related to all ports I may use. I allow the connection in all areas. Sparks ports activated. And now I connect South India zero one. Okay, Let's verify South India zero one enabled. Maybe I have a typo. Ah, the wrong port. Easy, easy issue. 804 is the default port. Later on, I will show how to configure port 80. So, but it's 804. Now I have this model here. I add some samples. Maybe in this sample, I will modify the use cases just to have a better difference between the Western European installation. Oh, there are some use cases already and I will type here from, from yeah from South India go back here what I have to define is that I want to access it again from the network so I have to configure the port 804, that's the minimum requirement. So this takes a while that the security rule is activated. In the meanwhile, I can already go to my local installation where you see at the moment the connection to the West European installation of ProCloud. I open the project, connect to ProCloud and take right here South India, so I have to find out later on the IP address. It's something like that. So I go to South India now. Installation, the rule is already set, yes. So I can connect to South India. Well, and here is the connection from my local installation to the use case model from South India as written here and uh, yes of course I can open actors um, yes uh, 
create new ones. Uh, okay, define a use case or and even make some association. So, of course, I can store the diagram. Go back to my remote desktop in South India. I think this is the second one. Uh, open the use case model again, go to the actors, and you see here my actors. If I want to see everything, of course, I have to reload the project. And then you can see all the actors here. Of course, I can define another one, make an extension of the use case as an example. Uh, use case two, uh, rocket science, store it, go back to my local installation. It notifies that it has been modified and that it's locked now, but if I open it again, then you can see the new extended use case. Of course, uh, this is a default behavior. You can reload the package or you can reload the complete model. In this case, uh, just go back to the actors and you see uh, interaction with South India. Um, diagramming is of course very fast because it's in memory only, but if you have a new element or store it, then it's also very fast if you have an Azure based environment. So the good news, it seems that ProCloud Server is very efficient in installing. It's very fast to configure. Um, Azure supports a lot of locations. Of course, you can use um, Amazon Web Services too. For the next session, I plan to so show some extended possibilities of ProCloud configuration and installation. But for getting it up and running, it seems it's very easy, very fast, and very logical. Thank you.